Gerald Lampkin was presented a plaque by Chief Bruce Lang for being his longtime second in command. Asked recently by a sergeant if there was anything he'll miss about the job, Lampkin said scheduling of officers uh, isn't on the list. Uh, he asked me if there was anything I'm going to be, I'm going to miss, and I said yes. Being a policeman, that's all I ever wanted to do, uh, besides being a Marine. Lampkin has been responsible for daily operations and served as assistant chief when Chief Lang had to be gone. And, you know, he's been the captain for quite a long time, and I can just tell you that um, he has served this community uh, with extreme dedication, and uh, his services uh, will be very, very difficult to replace. Following an internship program in the search for Lampkin's replacement, Sergeant Daniel Moss has been elevated to the position of captain. Moss has been with the city for just over 11 years. And he will be the new, the new guy to tell everybody no, and he'll be the guy to uh, cross the T's and dot the I's and make sure everything gets done. Moss's sergeant position will now be taken by Officer Zach Smith. Lang said Smith will serve as the overnight commander, a position the chief said is critical within the department. The night sergeant's the guy calling the shots in the evening, making sure policies followed, make sure the rules are followed, make sure uh, the things go smoothly. Um, really, really important job because he's the guy. There's nobody to lean on him at night. And uh, Zach is also the guy who runs our Citizens Academy. You may remember him from that. Um, he's a highly decorated officer, and he will fill Captain Dan Moss's night shift sort of position with. It's been a good week for Zach Smith. The chief says he just got engaged to the daughter of retiring Captain Lampkin. Both promoted officers took the oath of office and received their new badges at Monday night's city council meeting. From Beatrice, Doug Kennedy, News Channel, Nebraska.